Look at that. Oh, hey. Get out Get Get Got a couple little sprouts. Couple little sprouts. Several little sprouts. Well, hi, Georgia. Nothing. Yeah. Basil. Doing pretty good. Yeah. I think I got a couple of sprouts of rosemary. My man, I don't think I got nothing. <sighs> All right. Let's have some coffee and a pipe. Good, cloudy Sunday morning from mid-Missouri at the Lake of the Ozarks, YTPC. Felt a little bit like Mark Twain this morning. I don't know. Old Dominion. Before this, I got this actually before Missouri Meerschaum bought them out. With the reed, uh, usually have like Colt Blood Red Moon, Lane One Q, something like that in the mornings with my coffee. But Dad Gum that John Cotton been hollering at me. John Cotton double pressed. Dark fire. I've been ripping this stuff up lately. Have to put in an order for a couple more tins of that. I'm really enjoying it. Okay, so reason for this is VR. Steve. It's smoking cardboard. And he was wanting to know how before and after effects of being a part of the YTPC. And, well, being new to most of you, uh, with this channel uh, all I can really I mean I say a few things about my present channel but the channel that I had before was RKO Billy 71 I can comment on that one okay I smoked a pipe and you know, kept trying, kept trying, and all I would get is the uh, OTC, OTC blends, uh, the half and half, the velvet, uh, Sir Walter Riley, that kind of thing, and not bad smokes, not, not even going to pretend they're not, uh, but just wasn't my thing, so, you know, I kind of put it to the side. Don't even have those. What did I have? I had like one of my dad's old pipes. Which is just like an old basket pipe. Uh, I wish I still had it now, but then I was like, ugh. No. And uh, then I got a catalog in the mail from Pipes and Cigars. Go figure. I don't remember how I got signed up for it. But, uh, anyway. So, I ordered a couple things. Um, a couple of tobaccos. 
and then went up to my, uh, it was a liquor store, I thought, it was a liquor store smoke shop, and I uh, got a couple, let's see, I got, what was it I got, I got a Pony Express, Cobb, and a uh, Legend. Don't ask me what blends it was I got. I don't even remember now. Uh, but I smoked them. And, you know, newbie pipe smoker, they like the sweet aromatics and stuff like that. And that was me. And I started smoking pipes and... Uh, I don't know, a couple months down the road of, of smoking pipes and really enjoying it this time. And ordering more from Pipes and Cigars and got it, several of Russ's blends and um, some super sweet stuff. Found Pipe Community on YouTube. You know, watched, I don't know, three, four months, something like that. Sorry about that. Mom needed something. Um, anyway. Yeah, and I was, you know, back then it was, you know, we was watching um, Dagner's and slowly uh, thought, man, I, I wouldn't mind doing this. Always been kind of an outgoing guy, so hmm, let's give it a try. And then I got a couple shout outs here and there after I started doing videos, not knowing what the heck I was doing. Still don't. And, uh, I have to tell you, the friends that I made through the YTPC, um, second to none, uh, yeah, some of, I, I, some of the greatest people I know. Time for a little overshare? Okay. Uh, yeah, they, I mean, I live the Lake of the Ozarks. There's locals here. I don't really mix with them much. Um, less than a hand few. Mostly my daughter's friends um, that have become my daughters. <laughs> And the ones that came from bad situations, they, I am dad. But so I don't, didn't have a social life and I still don't have much of one. Um, so these people became my dearest friends. Uh, Southern trend, um, Queen of Cobbs, Tramp Tamp. Uh, yeah, there's just, I'll miss a bunch of them, but yeah, they were dear friends of mine, and I loved them a lot. They got to uh, witness me meltdown. With an underlying condition I did not know I had And when that happened, I disappeared. Um, for five years. And uh, they, read, they, re they, they tried reaching out to me, but I was in a place that I was no good to nobody. Not saying this for, oh, oh Jeff, sorry, uh, no sympathy, just 
That's life. It's what happens. Um, so, with the... Well, it was PTSD. Not war-related. Military. I'm military, but it's not military-related. And when I showed back up, you know, a couple of them reached out to me and said they were happy to see me back and actually alive. <laughs> and I still dearly love them people. They, uh, Kevin, uh, Naked Cart King, all these guys, I just, it's, there's many of them. And so now I'm back in touch with several of them and uh, <laughs> doing well. Hey, <laughs> Mika. But fast forward five years later, I'm healthier. I've learned to uh, cope with my condition. And I thought, you know, I'd like to do videos again. Couldn't get into my old account. No matter what I did, I tried getting a hold of them. Yeah, that worked so well. Hmm. But, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's a whole new crop of presenters. Um, mostly a whole new crop, um. A lot of the old presenters have fallen off or don't make as many videos, if any, anymore. So now, on top of my old pipe smoking YTPC friends, I'm gaining new. Uh, and it feels amazing. It truly does. Uh, it's, I started all over again, and it's... You know, the grassroots growing and becoming part of the society, of uh, the community. Makes you want to do videos, makes you want to, you know, and I've always said I'm not a sub chaser, I'm not a like chaser, I'm not trying to do any monetizing of this, it's just for the love of the pipe and the tobacco and the camaraderie. And the friends that you make, I, like three days ago, I was sitting at 20 subs maybe, and St. David's Pipes did a shout out. And I started getting a few more subscribers. Um, I think Peace Pipe mentioned me um, yeah it's uh, and now I'm up to 40 something I and I never checked until St. David until David said something and then I went back and checked and I had, at the time I had like he said I had like 20 subscribers and I hadn't checked and I had like 21 22 right after I saw that video and they just start piling in and I welcome you and I'm not a sub trace or anything like that I'm not trying to be monetized or get famous or anything but uh, I guess you have to have subs um, to become part of the community so yeah share me if you could I mean this this fellowship this uh, brotherhood sisterhood um, there's nothing like it. And I tell you this from quite a bit of experience. There is nothing like this community out there. Heartfelt, caring, um, not judgmental. Um, and in today's society where everybody wants to argue about everything, 
you post something or you say something and they just want to attack you and tell you you're a terrible person and you're wrong and this is the way it is, this is the way it is, this is the way it is. Because what I say is, is bond and that's the way it's supposed to not in this community. Um, in the pipe smoking community, the YTPC, um, the IG pipe community. Um, yeah, it's there's not really a TikTok pipe community per se that I found, but pipe smoking community in general, as a whole, are some of the greatest people. I don't know if it's got something to do with the pipe. I like to think it is. It's a contemplating. It's a searching yourself. And, um, you know, instead of just knee-jerk reactions. Oh, you're wrong! No. It's, sit back. Enjoy a pipe, man. Life's too short to be so angry and judgmental all the time. So, the YTPC means to me, has meant to me, uh, love, acceptance, um, brotherhood. I got brothers and sisters from the pipe community that I would go to the mat for. I'll tell you that right now. Old Sue Dunhill, that's my girl there. She's uh, my home girl. She's from the Kansas City area. Still lives up that way. And she gives me a ribbon every time she goes to in a tub to eat tacos. Some of the best worst tacos you'll ever eat. But uh, absolute sweetheart. And then. You know, we, we send each other gifts, and it's not an expected thing, you know? It's not expected to, you know, well, I got you something, so you got to get... No, it's nothing like that. It's, it's a beautiful thing. It's organic. It's how we show our love. We do VRs, because why did we start a YouTube channel? We wanted to make videos. So do VRs. If it's tobaccos or something that you're not interested in, do the VR and say, please do not put me in the drawing. Um, that's just not my taste. Or I appreciate it, but you know, I'd let somebody else have it. It's uh this community is love. And that's what... That's what means most to me. Look, be good. Or be good at it. And love, peace, and hair grease.